Hello and welcome to my channel. Now I've brought you here to Upper Mill, beautiful little village on the other side of the Stanage Tunnel. I'm gonna have a little look around here. It's gonna be a bit of a canal walk. It might start raining so far. It's dry, well, it's not dry, but it's not raining. I've come prepared and I'm getting some miles in for my coast to coast training. So that's what it's mainly about, is uh, keeping up the training for the coast to coast. And I hope to be getting in over uh, 10 miles today. So uh, yes, Upper Mill, beautiful place. And uh, the GoPro Hero 8 has arrived. Right now we're recording on the Hero 7 with the Rode Video Micro on top, but we will be changing very soon. So come on. So in this vlog, I'm going to be looking at the GoPro Hero 8. I've just received it, as I say, and I thought I knew a lot about it. There's a few little things that uh, I realized I hadn't considered. Interesting little area here. We've got the road. We've got the road going over there. We've got the river down here. We've got the canal just there and the lock. And up there, you can see we've got the railway. Interesting little area. So, we're going to take a little walk along the canal. In fact, we're gonna go that way. I'm just gonna have a look over here. But um, I'm gonna to walk towards a place called Diggle, and that's where the Stanage Tunnel comes out at the other side. I'm gonna show you the, uh, the exit into Diggle of the Stanage Tunnel. So that's a short walk over there. That's where we're going to go. And I'm gonna to talk to you about the new GoPro Hero 8 along the way and maybe a few other things that I see. Aha, an interesting little find. I'm glad I came down here just to have a little bit of a nosy around. Behind me is the site of an old woolen mill, uh, a fuller's mill, and it was built in 1779. So it is pretty old. And here's the uh, sort of what's left of it because they had to knock it down. And if you look over there, you can see where it was actually powered by a water wheel. You can see the, the markings in the stone and some other markings on the stone. I think it was uh, to say how large the water wheel was or the, the height of the water. Not too sure. And I'm actually standing in what was the actual dam. This would actually be water. They'll have raised uh, the water level here to, uh, to, to power the water wheel. So an interesting little find. Um, so let's get on. Let's get on with this uh, this uh, vlog about the Hero 8. Now, right now we are recording on the Hero 7 Rode Video Micro on top. That's how I normally like to record, and I don't think you're going to see much difference when we switch to the 8. So let me know if you can see any difference there, and that's why I'm recording on the 7 right now um, because uh, we can uh, make a little bit of a, a comparison as well. But it's not really a comparison vlog. This what it is. It's just my feelings on getting the GoPro Hero 8. And the reason that I like to use these uh, small cameras is of course because they are small, compact. And when I'm doing out on my walks, I'm not carrying much. I do have uh, professional cameras, uh, but you don't need them to vlog. You just need one of these, uh, but you need one that works. But holding the Hero 8 Black in my hand here, there's not much difference. Why did I buy it? What am I doing here? But inside, I'm sure it is a lot better. I'm hoping it is. It's a new chipset and it should do what it says on the box, like the crunchy nut cornflakes. It should have nuts. It should be crunchy. There should be corn. It should actually work. So that's what I'm hoping because the Hero 7 keeps letting me down. So I'm hoping this is going to be something that I can actually uh, say that works. But I need the media module. Okay, so we're back on the uh, canal tour path and I'm heading towards Diggle. And as I promised, I'm gonna show you where the Stanage Tunnel comes out at the other side. So it's a short walk on here. Now, I'm going to change to the GoPro Hero 8 because that's what this vlog is about. And I'm gonna to change to it right after this take. So unless I tell you different, the rest of the footage is going to be on the GoPro Hero 8 Black and also the audio. And I will warn you, it's the internal audio. That's the only choice I've got. I did want to use my Rode Video Micro on top of it, the side of it. I wanted to rig something to it, but it was just, uh, it would leave the battery and the SD card and the, uh, and the port, the uh, USB-C port, it would leave all that exposed when you take that door off. So I don't get the option to actually put a microphone on it. It does work if you plug it in. I did plug it all in and see that it worked, but uh, there was no way of rigging it and leaving that uh, side door open. 
uh, it was leaving too much exposed. So I've got to await the, um, the media module, as I say, and I can't wait to get my hands on that. I'm sure it's gonna be an absolute piece of crap. So we are now on the GoPro Hero 8 Black, my new vlogging camera, and we're using the internal microphones. Uh, it has come a little bit sunny, so it's favorite. It, it probably looks absolutely glorious uh, compared to the 7, but uh, the sun has just come out. In fact, I'll just walk you to uh, kind of roughly the uh, lighting that we had before was uh, in here we were, we were under the trees it was a little bit darker so that's what we were looking at before I was in an area like this so the Hero 8 that's what we're vlogging on right now using the internal microphones let me just go back out here because it was a little bit more interesting out here nice and sunny as well hope the Sun stays out today it seems really strange um, how's the dynamic range it's very bright behind me uh, so it seems it seems very strange holding this uh, GoPro Hero 8 with no cage around it, with no, um, with no case around it. It looks really tiny on the, on, on the vlogging stick and especially with no external microphone on it. So it seems really weird. And I'm hoping that it's picking my voice up. There's not a lot of wind right now. There was earlier on and uh, I'm, I'm gonna just continue battling through if there is wind. Now, I did create a wind muff for this uh, Hero 8 Black for the forward facing microphone which is really obvious in underneath the lens and I put that little uh, wind muff on and I tested by blowing around this uh, camera and um, the microphones that are around it are still active so I've got it in stereo mode that is the best mode to have it in for vlogging uh, but the other microphones are still active now flies um, the other microphones are still active that are around the uh, GoPro Hero 8 and uh, if only you could isolate that one microphone and just have a good mono, it doesn't have to be stereo, a good mono audio uh, out of the front facing microphone, then we could put a little wind muff on there and control the uh, wind that is entering that one microphone. But when I covered that one up and I blew to the side, we were getting terrible audio again. So uh, right now there is no wind, so it should be performing pretty well. Now I have been reliably informed that the media module price has been announced and it is on their site so thank you for that message i did get uh, a message regarding the price of the module and i checked it out and yeah 79.99 on the gopro site you can't actually order it yet and i think it'll be pre-order very soon and coming out round about december i think they're saying so i can't wait for that because uh, this is not crunching up cornflakes just yet this is uh, there's no nuts I'm hoping that when we get the media module on, it will be the nuts. So yes, um, I can't wait for the media module and I hope it doesn't let me down. I've got a feeling it's going to. Uh, they, do a, they do a GoPro Plus and it's some kind of like insurance and some other little whistles and bells on there as well. And I've signed up to that. So I will get the, um, the module at half price and I was tipped off on that also. So it's a bit of a no-brainer for me. I have uh, subscribed to that, it's relatively cheap. And if I break my GoPro, I get it replaced every time. So I may as well just throw it in the water. <laughs> so how's it doing? How's the stabilization? I hope we notice a difference in the stabilization. Take some beat in the GoPro Hero 7 Hyper Smooth, but uh, the Hyper Smooth 2 is supposed to be amazing. So I'm hoping that is good. How's the onboard microphone doing? Are you hearing me okay? What do you think? Give me your opinions. You're used to hearing my voice in uh, in this vlogging situation, only in this vlogging situation. Uh, so uh, is, it, is it doing okay? There's uh, almost zero wind, little gust every now and then. Uh, so we'll see how it does. Just climbing some stairs there. Did it look like I just floated up the stairs with the stabilization? We've got some uh, water noise from the lock down there below. There's a lock down there. Uh, so we've got some water noise from the lock down below and the problem with the, the onboard microphones and an aeroplane up above is that it'll be picking everything up and not zooming in on my voice. So um, while I was waiting for my new GoPro Hero 8 Black to arrive, I thought to myself, it's probably going to 
um, suck more power out of the battery. So, especially with the media module on there. So, I decided to purchase some more batteries while I was waiting. So I just went on Amazon and bought some. And uh, when this camera arrived inside, I could see that the battery looked different. There was a, a light blue uh, color on the end of it by the connectors. And I thought, oh dear, it's a completely different battery. I swapped them over and I put uh, a Hero 7 battery in, which also fits the five and the six. I put one of them in and it fitted perfect and the, uh, and the camera powered up. But when it did power up, I got a warning saying that if I want to get the best out of the camera, the best performance, to use a Hero 8 battery. And I got the option to uh, don't show again. And I thought, well, I'll leave that so that it does warn me every time I'm using a uh, Hero 7 battery, one of the older batteries. And I went on uh, a few sites just looking at the power of these batteries. So I think that, so I think, <laughs> so I think I've got this right. It's a uh, 2020, is that right? 2020, 1000. It's a 1000. 220 1220 milliamp battery yes that's right and uh, that is the same as the old ones so they're they're identical the batteries are actually the same so um, i just put the tick in the box not to show that screen again so i don't really understand that why it's telling us that we get better performance out of a gopro hero 8 battery um, and they're not these aren't knockoff batteries these are gopro batteries so strange so I'm heading on towards Diggle, we're getting close, I'm going to show you the exit into Diggle of the Stanage Tunnel. You've seen it from the other side at Marsden and I just thought I would show you from the other side. As well as talking to you about my new GoPro Hero 8 Black, which we are recording on now with the internal audio, the internal microphones. How's it doing? Now what if the media module is rubbish, or as you Americans say, what if the media module sucks? Well, hmm. Now then, if the media module is rubbish, and I kind of think it's going to be, what am I going to do then? I don't think I'll settle for uh, internal audio. The wind's blowing now. Let's just turn into the wind a little bit. How's it doing? We're catching some wind. And it's for that reason, um, when I'm up on the moors, there's gonna be wind. So I've got some absolutely fantastic microphones and the Rode Video Micro is one of them. A lot of water noise now, so how is it doing the internal audio, the internal microphone? I've got the uh, Rode Video Pro Plus. That's my best microphone. I think it's about 200 quid's worth of microphone. And uh, I would like to use that, and I will be able to with the media module. But we, sh we don't want to be paying uh, like 80 pounds for just basically an audio adapter if you're using your external microphone. So I really want that media module shotgun microphone that's just on the corner. I really want that to work for me. And if it doesn't, I don't think it'll be long before someone comes out with a case for this Hero 8 that will cover the where you've taken the door off at the side. It will cover that and allow you to connect through the USB-C port on the side and just put a microphone on top, just like we have been doing with the 7. I don't think it'll be long before someone will come out with that and it'll be a damn sight cheaper. Ulanze will be the people that'll do that, I'm sure. So you won't have to pay out the 80 pounds and just use your external microphones, which you'll already have. There's no point in buying that media module if that microphone is no good. Yes, you can attach things like lights to it and the external monitor. What is the point in that external monitor? I already know I won't be purchasing that. You don't need to see yourself to make sure you're in frame here. I'm recording in linear and that's plenty wide enough. I very rarely go out of linear actually. Uh, and I, you couldn't be out of shot if you tried. So if I put it over there, I think I'm still in shot. You can't be out of shot, so waste of time, unless you just enjoy looking at yourself. Um, so I won't be investing in that, uh, in that selfie screen type thing. 
Um, what else? Uh, yes, the the lights that you can put on. Yeah, handy, very handy, but you'll have a cold shoe at the side and um, I don't need the dedicated GoPro one. So I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. We are on the Hero 8 still. I don't think I'll be changing back. I've listened to a few of these clips back and I think you can hear me okay. It did catch the wind though, didn't it, back there? We didn't have to walk far before we got to a coffee shop. Grandpa Green's Coffee Shop, I think it's called, and I'm gonna call in for a coffee there, have a little rest, and then continue on where I am gonna show you where the Stanish Tunnel comes out at the other side. Now, just something slightly different, uh, just going off on one here. Um, Google Keep Notes. I use Google Keep Notes. I was uh, tipped off on that. Thank you for that. I'm enjoying using that to create my vlogs and just take some notes as I'm going along. Great way to arrange your, uh, your vlogs. But I do it uh, with audio notes, so I, I talk into it. Press the little microphone icon and then I talk into it and it changes it into text and keeps the audio file as well. But when I'm finished recording, it only switches off when it hears silence. When it hears silence, it decides to switch off and create the file. How do you know, does anybody know how you can manually make it stop? Because sometimes, even when I'm sat in the car, taking these audio notes, um, I have to wait for quite a long time before it actually reckons that it's silent enough to stop the recording. I'm waiting ages. I'm covering up the microphone on my uh, iPhone, trying to make it stop quick. Uh, so can you actually manually stop it? I've tried pressing the home button and other buttons and you just lose the file and lose the text. So uh, let me know, Google Keep Notes, can you actually manually stop the uh, audio recording? So Grandpa Green's coffee shop, pretty good. Nice tuna sandwich and a cup of coffee. They also do luxury handmade ice cream. I'll leave a link in the comments section below and you can take a look at that if ever you are around Diggle or Upper Mill. It's in between Diggle and Upper Mill, of course, on the canal side. Nice little coffee shop. Okay, let's head on towards Diggle and uh, the uh, Stanish Tunnel exit. I can just see the, uh, the exit to the Stanish Tunnel where you come through to Diggle and then you can go on towards Upper Mill and beyond. And I'm walking pretty fast, so this is a good test for the uh, stabilization mark too. Um, so yes, uh, this will be a good test for it. How's it doing? I'm walking pretty briskly and it still feels a little bit weird having such just a, a tiny device in front of me. And so there we are. This is the exit to the Stanish Tunnel. So all the way through there, you get to Marsden and you've seen that before in a previous vlog of mine. So this is where the canal comes out and heads on that way to, uh, to Diggle and beyond towards Upper Mill. And that's where I started this vlog in Upper Mill and that's where I'm heading on back now. We're still on the GoPro Hero 8 Black on the internal microphone. Now, something that I'm really enjoying about using the GoPro Hero 8, something really simple, and it's that uh, when I press record, I just press record, talk, and then press stop, and I am confident that the files are going to be saved, uh, there's gonna be no glitching, and I hope that continues when we get the media module around it, and we've got some great audio. But really, there's not much of a difference between this and the GoPro Hero 7, other than this one seems to work. Uh, a train coming past. Yeah, so uh, how's it doing with the train going past? Can you hear me over the train? Uh, internal microphones. In fact, there was two trains. The Hero 7 with the audio adapter and the cable curling round, that makes it very unreliable and um, I'm not going to miss that and I'm hoping, so hoping and that has really been the theme of this vlog. I am so hoping that this media module for the GoPro Hero 8 is going to be absolutely fantastic and I am absolutely certain it's going to be. I'm not really. I'm not certain at all. Oh, did I say that out loud? 
I meant to turn the camera off when I said that. Well, the rain seems to have held off and also the, uh, the battery power on the GoPro Hero 8. I'm using an old battery, which I used in the Hero 7. Uh, GoPro battery is not uh, third party. Um, so the battery usage seems to be just about the same. So there is no difference in them batteries. And it's been really just a, a look at the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Straight out of the box, internal microphones on 1080p, 24 frames per second from a vlogger's point of view. The wind is blowing now, we've got a little breeze there and I'm sure that these microphones are picking that up straight into the side of the camera there. But I'm battling on. Just using this camera as is, just like this, it's a breeze. Um, but the problem is the breeze. When the breeze blows, the microphones just can't cope with it. Um, so, yeah, uh, the deal breaker. Am I going to be happy? Are we going to be happy? We'll have to see. You do know that the lens doesn't actually detach the lens cover. You can't, you can't detach it. So I am a bit concerned about that because, uh, yes, it might be the toughest one that they've ever made. I don't think it's scratch proof, uh, scratch proof to a degree. But um, yeah, if I get a scratch on it, it's gonna do my head in. So you get a scratch on it, you send your camera back, I guess. Uh, you're without a camera for a while just because you got a scratch on it. Mm. So how's the dynamic range doing on the Hero 8 Black? It's quite bright behind. I'm almost back to where I started at Upper Mill and I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. I've enjoyed your company as always or I would be all by myself. I upload a vlog every week so if you haven't already done it, consider subscribing. And until the next one, bye.